I guess now we find out, remember we had to scramble to get all this unemployment in and people were starving on the street and eating out of dumpsters or whatever they were telling us, right? Now we find out in Axios today that it's likely that half, half means 50% if you can do math, half of the unemployment stimulus that came from the federal government and the states that were jammed through up to $400 billion was likely stolen by fraudsters. And not your typical people that steal your identity and go online and get, you know, $500 a week. No, we're talking about foreign governments, according to the story in Axios and others, potentially foreign governments stealing up to $400 billion, getting behind an effort for false IDs, online stealing people's identity, making things up, and the states weren't prepared to do this, so they gave it to anybody who applied, and now they're saying, well, probably 400 billion of it got stolen. I mean, this is just, we got to be the biggest patsies in America. You got Kamala Harris going down to South America saying, the answer to your problems is, we need to give you more money. As long as we give you more money, more taxpayer dollars, everything will be fine. Meantime, they keep printing money, and as we kept telling you, Here's what's happening. Consumer prices, inflation, it's a better word, inflation, jumping 5% in May. This is what we've been warning about. You had a class in high school economics when you were a sophomore or as a freshman in college. And what did they say? Inflation is caused by too many dollars chasing too few goods. It's simple economics Bell Curve 101, consumer prices and inflation up 5% in May alone, in May alone, just in May. This is before they pump another $2 trillion into the economy. What do you think inflation will be? If you have savings, it wipes it away. It will wipe away everything you worked for. They don't care because then you're dependent on the government for more handouts when you have no money because it's wiped away in inflation. And guess what you have to do? Vote for them so they can hand you more money in order to survive. It's the grand plan.